Hey guys, welcome back to another special session we will, where we will be discussing latest finance news and today we will be talking about why RBI has allowed global trade settlements in rupee rather than dollars. But before getting started, there are some piece of information for you guys. The first is that as I have already mentioned that we have started with the live classes. The schedule has already been shared with you and for classes such as management and ESI, it is going to start from 15th of July. If you have still not checked out our courses, you can go to our website, check the course and enroll for the same. Apart from that, if you have still not downloaded our app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Any exam related updates, live video sessions, monthly magazines, daily quizzes, topper strategies as well as past year papers are available on this one app. And this app is surely going to help you in your preparation for this regulatory examinations. So let's get started. So as of now, let us understand what is the present situation. So whenever any transactions happens between an, ex and an exporter and an importer, right? Suppose this exporter is from India and this importer is from, let's say, China. So this exporter will export goods, right? And in return, the importer will have to pay certain money. Okay, now what happens is, our are in this exporter will have to get the money in terms of rupee and he wants to pay in terms of renminbi or yuan okay what happens is whenever this importer needs to pay he will first have to get this renminbi converted into dollars and this dollars will be provided to the exporter now this exporter will go to certain banks and then he will get converted this dollar into rupees. So this is the mechanism through which export and import of goods happens. And according to the Foreign Exchange Management Act, any settlement of transactions between the exporter and the importer could happen in freely convertible currencies. Now what are these freely convertible currencies? Currencies such as dollars, euros, pound sterlings, yen, which are of international financial importance and which have a stable, which have stability in their performance are known as freely convertible currencies. So apart from these currencies, no other currencies are allowed for, uh, for global trade settlements in India. However, there are exceptions for Nepal and Bhutan because in these countries, rupee is also accepted as a medium of exchange. So from these countries, it is not necessary that you will get the transactions done in dollar only. You can get it done in rupee as well. So I hope you will be clear that what is the scenario. Now let us suppose, let us assume that there is certain special account in certain bank. Okay? And you are an exporter, you exported the goods to an importer in Russia and in return for that you are not getting dollars, you are not getting dollars and then you are going to certain banks to get it converted into rupee because ideally after the money you have to spend in India only and you will be requiring rupee. What happens is you, you, you do not get dollars, rather you get INR itself, you get INR, you get Indian rupee. Similarly, the importer has received the goods and in return, he need not have to convert his ruble and then give dollars to, to the exporter. Rather, what he can do is he can straight away pay in his home currency that is in ruble. And the every the entire exchange process of ruble into dollar and dollar into rupee. So we have the dollar, we have the ruble and we have the rupee. So the entire process of ruble into dollar and then dollar into rupee does not happen and you, you need not have to undertake the hassle of converting. Now this is the thing that RBI is talking about to introduce in India. It means RBI wants that any kind of transaction settlement be it from the exporter point of view or from the importer point of view happens in the form of INR itself. Exporter ne goods export kia directly usko uh, Indian rupee mein payment ho gai. Similarly, importer imported certain goods from outside and he paid directly in Indian rupee rather than going for conversion into certain dollars. 
so this is what rbi is talking about so let us see what was in the news so rbi has announced that it is going to come up with an arrangement for the domestic traders to settle imports and exports transactions in rupees with countries including russia and sri lanka why specific to this because this, these are certain countries where there are sanctions so what could be the reason behind rbi introducing such initiative such arrangement first rbi wants to promote global trade growth it wants to promote growth in the global scenario itself because because of the sanction in russia and since it is away from the swift payment gateway there are transactions which there are transactions whereby the exporters the indian exporters are facing difficulty in getting back the money for the goods which for which they have uh, exported similarly because sri lanka is facing shortages of forex it is not able to undertake transactions because sri lankan currency will not be accepted by other currency as it is not that stable currency similarly rbi also sees also said that it wants to support the increasing interest of the global trading community in domestic currency that means rbi wants that any transaction between india and suppose say russia happens in domestic currencies only rather than going for some other third currency let's say dollars and while doing so rbi also wants to promote domestic exports how domestic exports will be prevalent since sri lanka does not have forex what we can do is we can uh, accept money in ina and thereby we can now export to sri lanka thereby our domestic exports as a result increases similarly rbi also wants to facilitate tr trade transactions with countries that are under sanctions as i've already discussed like after the russia ukraine war russia was uh, sanctioned and people are not transacting with russia but now since we need not need dollar we can transact with certain countries such as russia sri lanka and other sanctioned countries and apart from that the main reason for introducing this initiative this arrangement was because of our rupee touching record lows against the dollar our rupee as we all know has slipped to a lifetime low of 79 point something and rbi wants to support the rupee so what rbi is thinking is to undertake the transactions the international transactions without including the dollar so that the pressure on the rupee which is there does not happens and what rbi says is our rupee is not weak what happens is our rupee in relative to the dollar is depreciating and overall it is not weak theek hai so this is what the news is all about and what will be the mechanism so the indian importers will get the goods for that it will make the payments in rupees only without getting it converted into certain other accounts and there will be a special account known as the vostro account of the correspondent bank of the partner country suppose the partner country is russia now any russian bank a vostro account will be opened with any russian bank and in that account the money will be credited theek hai and similarly for the exporters the exporters will be paid or reimbursed in the form of rupees directly and from where will this rupees be paid so this rupees will be paid from the surplus in the special vostro account of the correspondent bank of the partner country so suppose india and russia suppose india has a vostro account and russia also has a vostro account so while importing india deposits certain money here and russia uh, russian people while importing they deposit their ruble in their vostro account now utilizing this amount only we can make payment to the exporters now what about the remaining money suppose there are certain money left now this money can be used to make up for any investment projects or even in, uh, in if you are purchasing any sovereign wealth fund or other t bills so this money can be utilized there as well but any bank uh, opening this vostro account needs to take prior approval from rbi so rbi's approval is required and this vostro account can be opened only by authorized dealer banks so i hope this is clear to you so let us see ki kya tha aur kya nahi tha
सो लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम द एक्सपोर्टर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो द एक्सपोर्टर विल एक्सपोर्ट द गुड्स ठीक है एंड द इम्पोर्टर विल रिसीव द गुड्स नाउ द इम्पोर्टर विल पे इन हिज होम करेंसी दैट इज इन रूबल एंड दिस रूबल विल गेट डिपॉजिटेड इन दिस स्पेशल वॉस्ट्रो अकाउंट एंड इन दिस वॉस्ट्रो अकाउंट देर विल बी एन एक्सचेंज मेकेनिज्म वेयर बाई द रूबल विल बी कन्वर्टेड बैक इन टू आई एन आर बेस्ड ऑन द मार्केट रेट सो आर बी आई हैज सेड एनी ट्रांजेक्शन एनी कन्वर्जन और एनी एक्सचेंज ऑफ करेंसी हैपनिंग विल हैपन एट द मार्केट लेड रेट ठीक है अब इस रूबल को आई एन आर में कन्वर्ट करके वी कैन यूज दैट इंडियन रुपी टू पे टू द एक्सपोर्टर्स नाउ अर्लियर क्या होता था the exporters were paid in dollars and against this dollars they were given certain benefits what are these benefits so exporters received duty drawbacks duty drawbacks theek hai rebates rebates export promotion capital goods incentives and rebates on certain duties and taxes from different government schemes so the are now what the exporter is thinking or what it needs clarity is whether these benefits will be available to them now also if they receive the payment in inr or not to pehle jab bhi unko dollars mein ya freely convertible currencies mein payment milta tha they were eligible for all these benefits duty drawbacks rebates and other incentives on promotion of capital goods but now the question is whether since they will be repaid in inr whether these benefits will be available to them or not so clarity needs to get here and uh, the foreign minister will provide clarity on it right now similarly if we talk about from the importer's point of view now suppose there is an importer he import certain goods and the exporter in russia provides the goods he what he can do directly is he can pay the inr or he can deposit the inr in the vostro account now this indian rupee will get exchanged at market rates into ruble and the ruble will be paid to the exporter theek hai or as i have already mentioned this special vostro account will be uh, taken care of by the authorized dealer banks and that too after the prior approval of rbi earlier we were the importer had to convert his ina into dollars and while doing so it was putting certain pressure on the forex which resulted in drawing down on the forex resulting in depreciation of our currency ठीक है वी विल स्टडी द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस इंटेंशन व्हाट आर द इंटेंशन बिहाइंड व्हाई आर बी आई हैज अलाउड सेटलिंग ग्लोबल ट्रांजेक्शन इन टू रूपी सो व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स सो द फर्स्ट बेनिफिट इज दैट इट विल एक्सपीडाइट द ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन द कंट्रीज एज वी ऑल नो दैट आफ्टर द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर देर वे सर्टन पेन पॉइंट्स फॉर द एक्सपोर्टर्स इन गेटिंग बैक देयर मनी वाई वेर द पेन पॉइंट्स because russia was uh russia was taken out of the swift payment gateway theek hai payment gateway se usko bahar nikal diya gaya tha and it was difficult for the exporters to get back their money but now with this move whereby the exporter is receiving the money in rupee itself and there is no role of dollar in between there will be an increase in the transactions and uh speed in the trans speed in settlement of the transactions between such countries secondly it will promote domestic exports how will it be export how it will promote domestic exports so for the obvious reasons that you will now be exporting to certain countries such as sri lanka sri lanka or other african countries and even latin american countries those countries who are facing the shortages of forex or dollar reserves since they do not have forex now it is easier for them to transact in their own domestic currency thereby not putting any pressure on the forex and in that case it will promote exports in the country thirdly since we are take we are taking the dollars out of the forex movement it will help in stabilizing our rupee in the long run theek hai our rupee will be stabilized in the long run 
also since india is an import led economy whereby our imports are always greater than the exports we are actually saving on the foreign currency imports zyada hone ka ye matlab hota hai that we are demanding more of foreign currency theek hai we are demanding more of dollars but now if our imports is more we will be demanding more of rupee and in that case our exchange ratio our rupee will appreciate and it will strengthen against the dollars and as a result the pressure that has been put on the forex reserves of india will decline and fourthly it also shows our relation with russia's russia's uh, with russia and how important is russia as a trading partner for for india and apart from that we will also be getting discounts from russia's on importing crude oil theek hai so all this benefits will be available uh, to india if we go for this rupee settlement system and when i say rupee settlement system it means even the invoices will be prepared in rupee itself however there is just one point of contention whether the exporters will be receiving the benefits that they received earlier while receiving the uh, while receiving their exports value in terms of dollars so this was the news i hope aapko samajh aa gaya hoga and thank you for watching it till then take care bye bye